What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys five alternative search engines to Google that are privacy oriented. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to talk to you guys and basically show you guys some privacy oriented search engines that are alternative to the Google search engine. And if you guys didn't know, Google is one of the biggest, you know, search engines out there. But one bad thing about Google is it tracks pretty much everything that you search within that engine and it associates it with a Google account. So if you have a Google account, all your search history is tracked by Google, especially if you're using one of those Google browsers like uh, Chrome or Chromium, and you're actually logged in where you sync everything across the broad different browsers that you use by logging into your account. Everything is tracked from the browser level and that information is actually sent back to Google so they can provide ads based on your search history. And so I wanted to do a quick video just showing you guys an alternative or a couple alternative search engines that you can use to prevent tracking and, and information that you basically hand over to Google. And these search engines that I want to go through, they are actually privacy oriented or they don't track what you do as far as your search history. And so this is a way to kind of get around uh, blocking Google from tracking everything that you do. So let's go on and get started. I'm going to bring up my browser and then I'm going to walk you guys through five alternative search engines to Google. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I have the browser up and the first one I wanted to show you guys was start page. And as we can see on here, I'll just go down and read the first part of it. It says, don't be tracked online, protect your personal data. Uh, and down here, it just gives you a couple examples on what they actually do. It says zero saving, sharing, or selling your search data. No third party trackers or cookies like other search engines. It says unprofiled search results and browse other sites in complete privacy with anonymous view. So that's a few of the, you know, things that this search engine actually offers. And just to read right here, it says, as kids, we were taught not to touch stuff that doesn't belong to us. It's a good guideline. So why are online companies harvesting our personal data without our consent? They shouldn't. That's why we've developed online tools to help you stay in control of your personal information. Search is done. Expect other private versions of common digital services soon. Why? Because it's our belief that personal data should be your data, not big data, period. So that's like their slogan, their story uh, on why they actually created this uh, search engine. Uh, it's like a privacy oriented search engine. Uh, it does pretty much the same thing as Google, but you can also add this search engine to Chrome, uh, as you can see right here. So when you type up here in the bar, let's say you want to search something, uh, you can set that as your default search for your browser. And that's somewhat what I do. I have search or I have, uh, like for instance, this copy of Chrome that I use right here. And I just mainly use Chrome for doing these videos. That's the only reason I have Chrome on my system. And actually this is Chromium, uh, but I use a different browser, which I'll talk about a little later, but pretty much that store page, you know, um, and it's a good search engine that I think you guys should try out. Now let's go to the next one. And the next one is Quant. And I hope I said it right, but that's, the way I'm pronouncing it, but it says a uh, search engine that that respects your privacy. And a few things about this one, um, this search engine, I really thought was cool because when I did some researching on it, they attempt or they try to ensure neutrality in the results. And I don't know if you guys remember the whole net neutrality push that was going on, uh, especially after they repelled it, it was all in the news. They repelled the net neutrality and they had all these privacy groups that were, 
you know, fighting for it to actually stay because it it was there to make the web a neutral space. Uh, well, one thing about this search browser, it does what it can to create like a equal footing uh, as far as the way websites are searched because you all know that Google and a lot of these big companies, they can manipulate the searches. Well, with this browser, you know, based on keywords, tag words, you know, all the basic SEO stuff, uh, it puts all websites kind of like on an equal footing. Now, one thing about this search engine also, it's uh, based out of Europe. And on the front page, you know, as you can see, it has like trending topics. You can go through and search news you could discover more news uh, on the front page and like I said this is based out of Europe so when you first go to it it's probably showing a lot of European news but it provides you know results from all over the world just like any other search engine so please check this one out as well it's a good alternative search engine you can also add this one to Chrome uh, as well as one of the search engines you can put into it now let's go to the next one and the next one i thought was super cool as well but it's called search encrypt and the big difference between this one is it's a meta search engine and it also puts privacy in the forefront but let me go to the about page i just wanted to show you or read at least the beginning right here it says search encrypt was designed from the ground up with privacy as its core value the search search encrypt extension protects your privacy by detecting searches that may be tracked and tied to your personal information it intercepts those searches and redirects them to search encrypts privacy enhanced search engine which will be set to your default search engine uh, search encrypt is supported by sponsored ads uh, featured on our search results page so they do receive ads that's how they actually pay to keep this service up and going. But right here is a couple of the other things that it does. It says it intercepts and redirects. So anything that's trying to track you, it'll stop it and redirect it. And then it says advanced encryption techniques. So it uses SSL encryption, just like all of them. Um, and then expiring search history. So after 30 minutes of inactivity, search encrypt results expire and can no longer be viewed so it's almost like a one-time search so when you type something in the search bar after 30 minutes of it sitting idle uh where you're not clicking on any of the links within the search results it'll basically die and it'll delete that history of what was searched and then you will have to kind of search again so that's super cool you know what i'm saying i i really like this one as well and i've actually had experience using this one in the past and i still use it to this day you know every now and then when i think about it okay cool so moving on to the next one this is my fourth one and this is switch swiss cows and this is another uh google alternative that doesn't store any of your personal information or your queries or your ip addresses uh, and you know search results it doesn't tie any of that to any of your personal information so it and it's called swiss cows uh, and one thing about this it was actually created and hosted in switzerland and we all know switzerland has the strictest privacy laws in the world so that's what you know distinguishes this one from all the other search engines that i've seen and if we scroll down a little bit, uh, I just wanted to read a few things about it. It says we do not store data, uh, so not, it doesn't store any of your data. Uh, and it says since we never collect your data, we never track your data. We respect your privacy. Uh, our search results do not include sexual or pornographic content. So that's another thing. So you could tie this, you know, to your home network or you can you know set this as a default browser for your kids if you want to uh, that use the internet because it says we attach great imp importance to family friendly internet content so that's good to know you know what i'm saying and it also it says we have an innovative search engine it says our semantic map offers you an interactive search experience this will get you the desired results much faster. 
and you can read about that more if you want to but i just kind of wanted to show this to you guys uh swiss Kyle is another you know great privacy you know and safe web search engine now the last and final search engine i wanted to show you guys it's one of the most popular privacy centric or oriented search engines and that's DuckDuckGo. uh and i use this uh on a day-to-day -day basis this is like my favorite search engine and it's also tied to the browser that i use uh and i could talk about that as well after this but i just wanted to focus in on DuckDuckGo, and it's one of the you know premier online privacy search engines that are out there and one thing about DuckDuckGo, it uses Yahoo search results uh, to as their, you know, kind of back in uh, on providing the results. But one good thing about it, it doesn't track any of your searches. And so just to read right here, it says tired of being tracked online. We can help. We don't store your personal information. We don't follow you around with ads. We don't track you ever. And you can also add uh, DuckDuckGo to Chrome. And then just to read a little bit about it, they or read a little bit more. It says it has privacy browser extensions. Uh, well, it is a privacy browser extension. You can add that to your browser, uh, which mine is is actually kind of built into it in my browser. Uh, it's part of that browser. And let me just go down and say what it is. But I use the Brave browser and DuckDuckGo is the search engine in Brave browser. It's the default. It'll come with brave already connected as the search engine that it wants you to use because you know brave is kind of a privacy centric uh or oriented browser but it says browse as usual and we'll take care of the rest uh get bundled private searches trackers track tracker blocking and site encryption all in one download for major browsers so that's that extension they have private search engine um and that's basically what I'm talking about. The search, uh, it says search privately with our app or extension, add private web search to your favorite browser or search directly at duckduckgo.com. And it says they have, they also have a privacy browser app, which I use that on my Android phone. So they have a, a version for Android and iOS. So you can use both of these browsers on both of those platforms. So and as you can see it says a little further down we don't store your personal information ever our privacy po policy is simple we don't collect or share any of your personal information and then they have a frequently asked questions you can go through those if you want to but they also have a pretty sleek interface like the way it looks uh i like the way it actually looks that i guess that's why i kind of fell in love with it once i started playing around with it and using it so just to run, you know, a quick test, uh, I just typed the word test in there. But as you can see, it looks very similar to Google, uh, Google uh, search engine, you know, and your results are there. You know, it's clean. It's not all that all those ads on the right hand side. And it only looks like that because it's trying to get me to add the DuckDuckGo to Chrome, the the extension. Uh, but let me go down and close that because it recognizes that we don't have it. But you know how in Google it'll have like all it'll be cluttered with a whole bunch of uh, ads and stuff. This doesn't have that. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the, the privacy on this thing is super good because it doesn't store anything. So I uh, hope you guys check this one out as well. Like I said, DuckDuckGo is super good. I'll have all the links to these search engines down in the description of the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got some out of it. Hopefully this will help you guys with picking a privacy oriented search engine that you can use uh, while you're browsing the internet so you can try to be safe. Um, and that's the whole purpose of me doing this video to try to help you guys be safe on the internet and just to give you some alternatives to these big companies that are out here that are tracking everything you do online. And it's not that you don't have it's not that you don't have anything to hide because you're not doing anything illegal. It's still just the fact that someone is watching 
and tracking everything that you do on the internet uh, i'm not comfortable with it and hopefully you're not comfortable with it and so that's one of the reasons i want to show all these browsers so hopefully that helps you guys out uh, if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course keep it techie